This is Richard with JR, and this is the second in a series of two videos to demonstrate how to set up three of the new S8477SS 2K Game Changer servos in PWM synchronization mode for use on radio controlled helicopters. In the previous video, we talked about the modified swashplate leveling tool, uh, about having the servos both electronically and physically centered and two of the servos reprogrammed to become follower servos who will learn the position in one degree increments of the master servo. We have all three servos connected to our XBUS hub and in this video we're actually going to demonstrate the synchronization process. Okay to begin we have our programmer on we're going to scroll down using the lower button and we're going to rotate the knob to where it says synchro mode, which is the last entry. Once we have synchro mode, we're going to press the right hand button and it's going to say hit right hand switch or button to start, so we'll do that. Now it's going to ask us to move the servos to their extreme high position. So we're going to raise the swash plate tool manually and these things are way up they're not quite to the point of being over centered but that's as high as they could possibly go on the helicopter i'm going to press the right hand button again now it's going to ask us to do the same thing at the lower extremes of the throw so we're going to push the swash plate leveling tool all the way to the bottom i'm going to press the right hand button again and the synchronization process will start. It's going to start with the right hand aileron servo first. It's going to match it in one degree increments with the position of the elevator or master servo. You can see not much is happening with this one. It's basically going on for the ride. This one is the one that's being adjusted. Now I'm going to edit a little bit of this out from time to time because this, this can be up to a 20 minute process. see this one back here is twitching just a little bit. It's trying to match the position of this one and learn it. There are periods in this process where it appears that nothing is happening, but the servos are comparing positions. Okay, the servos are about at the upper extreme of their travel. Now once this servo has been matched, and it still has to do the lower half of the travel, once this one has been matched, then the entire process will be repeated for this servo. Okay, the servos are starting to move again. And now this servo is going to match the travel of this one in one degree increments for the lower portion of the throw. I believe a taller swash plate tool that spreads the load out further would reduce the slight tendency for it to tip and would yield a more accurate result in this process. Okay, it's working away its way down a degree at a time. 
Again, it pauses every once in a while and it starts to move a little bit again. And again, I'm editing some of this out just for the sake of time. Still moving down slowly. So now returning to center, having reached the lowest point in its throw. You see there's a two in there, auto adjust down two, that's right cyclic servo. Now it's going to change to three and it's going to begin the upward path after defining the neutral position. It working its way up. And initially, there's a lot of movement in the servo, and then it stamps down. Again, I'm going to pause because this is repetitive. It's getting up toward the extreme top of the throw. And there it's going back down. It'll start the uh, start the process on the uh, downward half of the throw. Still working its way down. We're almost to the extreme low point in the throw. Not quite there, but very close. Same process is continuing. Okay, these servos have reached the lower extreme of their throw, and they're returning to their neutral position. We should see finish in the display very shortly. There we are. And the process is finished. Now, if I were to go back and check the identities of these two servos, 50-1 and 49-1, in the programmer, I would see this is now 1-2 and 1-3. 
That concludes the video on the servo synchronization process. When this is done, I think I mentioned this before, I will be doing a complete reset up on the helicopter in the Flyballer's unit just to make sure everything's perfect. Thank you.